Um, as we've been talking about it already this morning, millions of children in England, Wales and Northern Ireland are starting their full first full week back in school today. This morning, a union representing school leaders has said it's looking forward to welcoming pupils back, but there are essential, they say, it's essential the government responds rapidly if data suggests more safety measures in schools are needed. Should we have a look at the safety measures? Mm. Uh, John McGuire is at a school in Western Supermare where pupils will be getting lateral flow tests this morning. Morning to you, John. How's it going to work? Let me tell you, Louise, good morning from... Academy in Western Supermare. Remember when going back to school used to be about sewing labels into children's blazers, polishing their shoes, making sure that pencil cases were new and folders were all ready to go. These days, of course, it's about testing, testing, testing. They have been doing it for quite a while. Some slight differences here. These are new test kits that have arrived at the school, so children won't have to put the swab at the back of their throat. They're just a nasal swab, so potentially much easier, I think, for children. Here, of course, in the sports hall, uh, once again, somewhere that's used to uh, sporting excellence, it becomes almost like a clinic, really, sort of a medical environment. So you've got ten testing stations. The children will come in here. Firstly, year groups age uh, from years 7 and 11, and then throughout the rest of the day, uh, the other year groups will come through and get their first test. Then, of course, back to school as normal from tomorrow morning. Tony Searle, good morning to you, uh, the principal here at Hans Price Academy. Um, What's, what's the mood like? As I say, back to school these days is, is, is not what it used to be. No, it's not. Um, the mood's really great, though. Uh, we've had a couple of days of staff training, and the staff are really positive. They're really upbeat. They're really looking forward to uh, what's happening, looking forward to seeing the students again and the students that we had through, because, of course, we tested last week on Friday yep. for Year 7 and 11. Today's their second test, and the mood amongst those students was really excited. The 7s haven't been here before, and they're really excited to see what's, uh, what's happening in school, and the 11s are buzzing to get on with their GCSEs. Yeah, big, big years, of course, but so for those year groups particularly. What's going to be very, what's different? What's going to be different this time? Because, of course, you know, so many terms over the last 18 months or so, beginning of terms, it's all been about testing, bubbles, things like that. No bubbles, of course, anymore. No bubbles anymore, um, which is great. Now, as a school, we have vertical learning families, so years 7 to 10 in the same learning family, which is great for role modelling. We've lost all that over the last couple of years where we've had to be in year group bubbles, uh, single spaces outside for 7, 8, 9, 10, whereas now we can have mixed groups, mixed bubbles, all that role modelling happening, lots of student leadership. So it's going to be really different for us. And uh, just having those children rekindle some of those friendships between year groups as well as within their year groups is going to be really exciting. All right, so thank you very much indeed for your time this morning and for hosting us here at, I say, uh, Hans Price Academy. Interesting, isn't it? So it's not just about learning, it's not just about sport, it's also about children building those relationships too, getting back to that sense of normality, especially for the year sevens, going to big school for the first time uh, today and then on to tomorrow when it'll be a fairly normal day, but it sounds as if people are very anxious to get school back up and running uh, for the rest of the term. Some sense of normality, I guess. Well, let's talk about what's going on right now live with John McGuire, who's at a school in Western Supermare where pupils are going to be tested, aren't they? Morning to you. Yeah, morning, Louise. Absolutely right. Hans Price Academy here in Western Supermare. Testing started at the end of last week. More testing today, and then the children will return to classrooms as normal as from tomorrow. One of the interesting things is that they're doing they're, they're using new test kits here, new swab kits, so they won't need to put the swab into the back of their throat, which is <laughs> a fairly unpleasant experience at the best of times. Those will just go into the nose. So as you can see, all of the testing stations lined up, ready to go. Ten in total here at the school. Uh, members of the admin staff, volunteers are here. Uh, morning all hello all ready to go aren't you all looking excited they're all smiling behind their masks i can tell liz take no good morning to you you're in charge of this you've done it a few times i guess so pretty good at it by now i think yeah we know what we're doing team swab are trained up and they're swab. ready to go yeah <laughs> Uh, what, what's, the, what's the mood like? What's the atmosphere like? I mean, back to school is always a, an exciting time. What, 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 what would you say? What's the, what is the it's mood? It's exciting because we're hoping for some normality. Yeah. Um, the students have had a really disruptive two years with having to learn remotely and be in bubbles and, and those sorts of things, lots of restrictions in place. Um, now we're hoping that you know, normality can resume. Part of normality will be testing, um, so all students will come and have a couple of tests before they return. Um, but then they can get back into their lessons, no more bubbles. They can mix 
um, and it'll just be really exciting to, to get that normality back. And that's the big change really, isn't it? L l no more bubbles? No more bubbles, no. Mm. The systems of control will be um, ventilation, making sure rooms are really well ventilated, um, good hand hygiene, so sanitisation stations in every classroom, um, ensuring students are sanitising on the way in and on the way out of their lessons, um, and then enhanced cleaning throughout the academy, all the touch points being cleaned regularly through the day. Good luck. Okay. Great you. to see you. Great to see Team Swab in action this morning. Let's talk to some pupils then, Year 11 pupils, so GCSEs in the summer, guys, isn't it? Big year. Lexi, Kobe and Brennan as well. Uh, Lexi, back to school today. How are you feeling? You've got a smile on your face, which is yeah, good. It just feels a bit weird because it feels kind of normal and it's not been normal for quite a while and we, we don't know if it's going to stay this way or if we're going to go back into lockdown, so we're just hoping for the best. Kobe, what's the last year been like? It's obviously a big year for you this year, isn't it? But what was last year like? It was difficult for everyone and, you know, points of it weren't exactly fun. But I think yes, this year we're hoping for a really good year of learning and all the extras that we have in school, like drama and P and clubs to be back, things like that. Yes. Really exciting. That important other stuff, isn't it? Yes. Not just lessons that makes a school a community. And seeing your friends again, Brennan, isn't it? Looking forward to that, I guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen my friends in quite a while, like some of them I haven't seen, so it will be very nice to catch up with uh, a lot of my friends and stuff like that. It will be very fun to... And how are you all feeling about Year 11? Big year. GCSEs, of course, to come. And again, we're not quite sure what sort of format that's going to be. It's exciting to be this sort of first year, you know, no one else is going to have this experience if you look at it in that way, you yeah. know, we're excited for that, but apart from that, you know, just looking forward to getting on and doing them now, I think that's the most important thing. Well, all the very best, not just for today, but for the rest of the school year and especially for the summer as well. Dan, you were talking about your dancing shoes earlier, look at these shoes here, three pairs of brand new oh, yeah. shiny school <laughs> shoes. The big question is, how long will they stay <laughs> shiny and clean after a few games of football and whatever else over the next couple of weeks and months.